Memphis Depay, the Flying Dutchman, does he have what it takes to take this Netherlands team uh, further? I know his closing in on Van Persie's record is, is gone past, I think, Van Basten, I think. Um, or is close to Van Basten and Van Nistelrooy as well. But it's just the fact that we've seen Memphis Depay really step up, step up these last couple of years since he's been at Lyon and since he's been uh, the main man at Lyon as well. I want to see Memphis Depay shine at, at this tournament. I believe he's a very good player. We didn't get to see much of that at Manchester United, unfortunately. Uh, the change of managers, getting left out the cup final against Crystal Palace. The fact that he was just being outworked by other, other players like Rashford, Martial, Ibrahimovic came in the season afterwards as well. Um, but Memphis Depay, like I said, I want him to be the flying Dutchman of this of this squad. I want to see him um, bring life into this Netherlands team again as a neutral, wearing the orange shirt. But I want to I want to see him I want to see him fly. I want to see him uh, do his normal tricks. I want to see him take the take the lead. I want to see a bit more from um, the players around him to kind of support Memphis in in this tournament. But how do you see Memphis Depay? Um, do you see him scoring many goals in this tournament? I do in the group stages, but. Do you see him kind of being that leader and that spark uh, for yeah. the Netherlands? Yeah. Well, uh, so, so do I. I hope he's going to be the fine Dutchman because uh, we need him. Mm. Um, uh, but yes, he's done really well. Uh, he's done really well at Lyon. He's, he's, he's also done really well internationally for, for the Dutch side. He's on uh, quick match. I think he scored 13 goals in his last 20 caps. And yeah. He had, uh, I think he had t- 10 or even more than 10 assists in, uh, in those 20 games as well. Uh, so considering that he's massively, massively important, uh, takes all the free kicks, takes uh, the majority of the corners, we took a penalty uh, against Georgia. Um, very, very important. And uh, if you look at the squad, I think the main question is, is who is going to be the player that's going to score the goals? And I think you're going to have to look at the pie because Bechwurst, Marlon, Luke de Jong, they're not guaranteed for goals. Yeah. The pie essentially is. And you're always going to have your your, your Van Alden. Van Alden is a, a player who, who actually scores quite well for the Dutch national side. He's got 22 goals and, and 75 caps, which is, which is very good. But uh, he's not going to be a player that's going to score four or five goals in, in, in the European tournament. The only one that I see doing that is Depay, or if uh, actually someone like Rechorst really, really gets going. Yeah, because uh, Depay's but, on set pieces as well, isn't he? Like yeah. free kicks and penalties as well. So yeah. that could be uh, ever beneficial as well for, for yeah. uh, but, but we do believe that if, if the pie uh if the, the pie underperforms we're in trouble it's yeah. going to be holland ukraine no no holland austria no no holland north macedonia one no okay mm-hmm. then we're out in the next rounds because then we'll face if we're unlucky we'll face germany and we'll face italy and uh we're going to we're going to be in massive trouble then it's going to be fun games when you see against like the likes of Italy or Belgium, perhaps as well. But but yeah, that's kind of what I see with, with uh, the Dutch national team. That's why I mentioned it earlier. Like if the if the team can support Memphis with the burden on his shoulders, because Van Dijk was that guy for me that would support or even take the the weight off the pie shoulders to kind of uh, push this Netherlands team forward. But I don't see De Boer kind of doing that. I want to see the players kind of do that uh, in this tournament as well, which will make you dark horses, like I said. Mm-hmm. 